What are you in the 1% of? If I shake my head in a certain way, I can give myself an orgasm. Never met anyone who can do that. Wow that sounds incredibly inconvenient. At an amusement park. If I'm coming. What? Please teach me. Roll your head side to side. Like you're doing a Stevie Wonder impression. Keep doing it for about 20 seconds. Then stop and drop your head back ideally on a comfortable surface like a pillow. But I don't do it more than once, or twice in a row. Because not only does it stop working, it gives me a terrible headache. I'm one of only 1300 board certified sexual assault nurse examiners for the adult and adolescent population. In the world, I think to tat it's 2%, but I'm a ginger. I'm unsettled by how small that number is. To be fair, there are more sane nurses, meaning nurses who take care of these patients, and are qualified to do so. Being board certified just means I took an extra step, after I reached a qualifying time, to take a test to prove it, I'm actually up for renewal, at the time I first tested, I was one of something like 1100, still, even knowing that, there aren't enough sanes or FNEs overall. I can stop my hiccups on command, there's a super power for sure. I'm naturally ambidextrous, apparently that's something only 1% of people naturally are. I can use both, right and left hands ably for any task. For example, I often switch which hand I write with, based on how I'm sitting. It's worth noting natural ambidexterity is not the same as learned or acquired ambidexterity. For example, left-handed people often have to use things designed for right-handed people, but otherwise are left-handed. I'm of the 0.002% of people with osteopoikilosis. This freaked the shit of me, because when I was diagnosed the first thing the doctor said was wow I've never seen this in anything but textbooks before. Basically, I have bones growing inside my bones. It's not anything I should be worried about, at least for a while. So that's nice. Does that make the bones stronger? What does that change? I've represented my country in the Paralympic Games. That's a really nice one. Which specialty? Not me but my dad. He was born with a backwards heart and didn't find out till his heart attack a few years ago and it actually saved his life. His doctor later told him that after being a doctor for over 30 years he'd never seen someone with a backwards heart and that apparently 1% of people on the planet have it. How did it save his life? My guess is that his coronary arteries are also flipped and therefore the one that was blocked would typically be the one to kill you. With Dalmaka. I have a blood type. Less than 1% of the world's population have it. Oh there it is. I've been scrolling and looking for this. Hi fi fellow rare blood type. I'm diagnosed with visual snow syndrome. Basically seeing through static. It may not be rare as thought, but I'm one of very few people. To be formally diagnosed, I have experienced visual snow, as long as I can remember. I stopped bringing it up as a child, when my doctor didn't take me seriously. I started bringing it up again, after reading an article about it last year. I have a double gene mutation. That makes me highly resistant or even immune to the HIV virus. This guy FS might as well. Far less than 1% of people make their living creating crossword puzzles. I've also written 5 novels, 3 of which were published. Wow. Thank you for the crossword puzzles. I'm addicted and have always wondered how the intellectual and creative process of building a crossword puzzle works. Wish you the very best. Cancer survivor. Think that's 5%. I had it 3 fine times. We always joke that my dad and the devil have been duking it out since his birth. He survived testicular cancer at 16 as part of the human trials for chemotherapy in the back quote 70s, where he was the only survivor. He described it as them pumping and forth full of death into his arm. He was patient no. 13 and the only survivor out of his test group in the Midwest, then survived what should been a fatal car crash at 18. Survived late stage bladder cancer at 38, survived melanoma at 50, somehow is still surviving, while being on the kidney transplant list since back quote 99, beat another round of skin cancer at 59 and again this past year at 63, he's somehow still alive and kicking, man just can't be killed, has he bought a lottery ticket yet? I'm Albino, Snoo checks out. Not as interesting or cool as others, but I'm in the 1% of the population that has no immunity to rubella. Even though I've been vaccinated for it several times, 
Apparently some people's bodies don't take to some vaccinations. Fine with everything else like mumps measles etc it's just the rubella. I've also got type 2 Duan syndrome in my right eye. Duan's being a run common eye condition anyway. Right eye being least common to have it in and type 2 the least common of its type out of the three types. Won the Duan's lottery with that one. I'm that way, but with hep B. Every time I get blood work done they're like, you know you're not immune to hepatitis B. And I'm like yes I've had the full series of shots twice now. But we can do it again I guess. Yes, so annoying. I had my first round of MMR vaccine in high school, then again 18 months later, when I got sick and hospital blood work came back as me not having it, I had but they won't listen. Aged 19 I had my first child, same thing during routine blood tests, while pregnant I had to have the MMR again as it showed no immunity to rubella, had my fourth and final baby last year, I'm 31 now, with my second and third kid same thing. By time my fourth rolled around I was ready for the fight of trying to convince them I've defo had my MMR like loads. It was only when I saw a new doctor that he was like oh yeah I can totally clear this up for you and explained it to me. I still had to have it though. I don't even know what rubella is haha. I know it's included in the UK in the MMR vaccine. And I know what mumps and measles are but never seen or heard of anyone getting rubella nowadays. Hyperhidrosis. Excessively sweaty armpits for no reason. I could be sitting there completely at ease and sweat rolls down my sides from my pits. I have found a product to fix the issue however I know no one else who has the same issue personally. So apparently my left eye is 32mm. The average size is 21, 27mm. My eye doctor said it was neat. So you look like this. O underscore zero. Deg. Zero. What about your right eye? Don't worry. Is other eyes alright? Are both your eyes really big? Or do you have one super eye and one regular? I fell off a 100 foot cliff and landed head first on rocks. Broke my neck and back. Smashed up a lot of my body. Had to travel about a mile to find help immediately after the fall. Doctor said I caused more damage by trying to walk for help. But would have bled out if I stayed where I fell. 15 months later, I'm powerlifting and ran a half marathon should not be alive, much less be able to walk, when I was 16. I was unlucky enough for both my jack and two of my jackstons to fail, while I was under my truck, fixing the exhaust, my head was exactly where the gas tank had been, before I dropped it out, and my body was crushed between my bench and the truck. My dad walked into the garage, and freaked the f out, yelling, crying, screaming are you okay, are you alive? and couldn't hear me saying I'm good, I'm good, get me out, over his own sobs, absolutely convinced I was dead, but panic screaming, until he saw my legs moving, he lifted the truck back up, I walked over to the chair, and sat down, while he called an ambulance, walked in the vehicle, walked into the hospital, walked to the x-ray, doctor ran in, white faced, put me in a neck brace, and strapped me to a bed, telling me I broke me neck, back and crushed half of my ribcage at any moment i could have moved wrong and boom death or paralyzed nearly zero problems healing up and the worst was the surgery to fix my ribs and was only out of commission for about five months i got f i'm lucky you know it's bad when the doctor is panicked i'm glad you're good though everyone is born with a space in the base of your skull I have an enlarged space, the doctor called it an enlarged cisterna manor, having it isn't what makes me part of the 1%, it's the fact that it hasn't caused me any trouble or neurological issues that puts me there, it was only found when I had an MRI for migraines. I survived childhood cancer, I think just getting it at all is pretty rare. I'm one of only at 200 deaf pilots in the world, and one of only 4 that are commonly known of in the world with commercial and instrument training. I'm also one of the only deaf people who hold both a pilot's license and a commercial driver's license. How do you hear it when other airplanes honk at you to let them pass by? Can you work at commercial airliners? How do you communicate on radio? This is so cool. My dad works on planes for FedEx and now the military, so I've always respected pilots. Hard work. No. Airlines won't touch me with a 10 foot pole. Way too much accommodation and liability involved. I don't personally use the radio. If it's necessary I'll take a co-pilot along with me to handle the radio. I'm a totally in the 0.2% of something. 
People who have a rather nasty reaction to the blood thinner. Haparin. Lost half my toes. Because of how lucky I am. Haparin sucks even the other 99.8% hurt like a mofo. The binding of Ice Arc. As of now. Exactly 1% of players have all 637 achievements on Steam. Guitar Hero. I was a world ranked player back when it was more popular and won every tournament I ever attended. Trog de memorized was fun. Just turn and stare at people while playing it with my back turned. Won a bar tournament head to head with the hash 2 person and I turned around and played it without looking at the screen. He should not have let me pick the song. I'm one of around 1% of people directly related to Sweden's great King Gustav Vasa, still living. I'm one of 100k people, you guys always strut around like your ships don't sink. Typing in my PC, I can type up to 170 WPM sometimes, and in the human benchmark site that's 1%. 170 is more like top 0.1%, that's insane. And here I thought I was a gamer with 120, 130 on a good day. I used to practice typing in middle school, by trying to type out rap lyrics as they came along. I like, the last time I was tested, did it for a transcription job. I was at 162 with two mistakes. I was then denied the job, because of a lack of experience. Sorry you need at least 7 years of experience for this entry level typing job. Allergies, gotta catch em all. I held a second place world record for the Mushroom Gorge time trial in Mariuk at Wii for 15 minutes. Is that the map, where you jump on the mushrooms? Yes, that's the one. I held a senior reactor operator and pilot license at the same time. I've been into helicopter crashes, and one plane crash. There is only a small group of people who have survived that many crashes. I'm also not a pilot, have you considered alerting fellow passengers and crew when you book a flight that would go over great with Sam? Plane starts to go down. Ooh, ooh, I know this one. Follow me, everybody. Person next to them looks scared. First time, you know. At that point I'd probably follow that guy. Lol, whatever the F you're doing whilst airborne, stop doing it. Yeah. I'm curious, if there are any flights the poster has been on that did not crash. I'm also not a pilot, explains why you crash so many times. I'm also not a pilot, yeah, not anymore. So, never go on an aerial ride with you. Got it. Context PLS. Military for sure. He's an ejector seat tester. I have a brown eye and a blue one. What happened to the second blue eye? Mirror writing. Writing the same exact thing with my left hand except backwards and to the left, while I write it normally, and with my right hand. Survival. I fell 25 feet out of a window, when I was about 2 years old. I've also been hit by a car, that was traveling over 15 phone slash 80.4 kmh. I've had 2 near drownings. I was also held hostage at gunpoint for over 3 hours. All if these things happened before my 14th birthday. I'd like a word with your parents. Sounds like some dangerous people may have wanted that too. Rasputin. Jesus Christ. Bro you okay? I can make my eyes shake. Voluntary nystagmus. And I can wiggle my ears. It was a lot more impressive when I was 7. Hey me too. Just the eye shake. My dad can too. But I've never met anyone else. A pleasure. Slash r slash Aisha cause me 20k more of us. I had pancreatic cancer last year. Out of 10,000 patients they normally find 100 who have another form of this cancer who kill a little slower. Like in 2 years instead of months. I was one of the 100. Out of those, normally 15 can have surgery. I was one of them. Out of those 15, some die and some come back to basically normal life. That's about a 0.07% chance in all. I'm still one of them. I should be dead by now. Shouldn't have read that don't get me wrong. But I'm really happy for you that you're still alive. But my dad just got diagnosed with it, and the operation is in two weeks, and I'm scared I have to lose him. Nice you're still here. I was born in, and live in Finland. Nahoniai, Turil, the beautiful country of shy alcoholics. Being deaf, only 0.22%, roughly 600k people, across all age groups in the US are deaf. More than half are over the age of 65. I've been profoundly deaf since birth. So I'm in an even smaller percent than 0.22%. Lmao. Source. Pardon my ignorance. 
but what is the difference between profoundly deaf and just being deaf? Deafness comes in varying degrees of hearing loss. Some only have minimal loss, others might have total hearing loss, but only in one ear. It's a spectrum, you could say. Profoundly deaf is basically 100% hearing loss in both ears. In other words, I can't hear sh. Performing musicians who can play the complete well-tempered clavier. Books 1 and 2. The well-tempered clavier is two sets of preludes and fugues in all 24 major and minor keys for keyboard by JS. Batch BWV 846-893. Jesus is an backquote accomplished pianist I cannot. I just cannot. But also I will not. Username certainly checks out. And an impressive achievement. I'm not a performance standard pianist, though I do have a music degree, but the WTC is never far from reach. It's a great way to get away from things and I really do enjoy playing JS. Batch. Being 6 feet 1 as a woman, the weather up here is 39 degrees Fahrenheit with a light breeze, my eyes are up here. I'm doing my best. I'm 4 feet 9 inches and that is a legit problem for me with average sized ladies. I'm just looking straight ahead I can't help it that your boobs are in my direct line of sight. I'm not even trying to look they are just there. And since I'm a girl when other girls hug me, it's full on hugs where my face gets smooshed into their boobs. I'm sure I'm in the 1% of wedding attendance. I started as a wedding DJ when I was 18. For several years, I was doing 40 to 50 weddings a year. I ended up doing DJ, photo, and video at my business in Vegas. For several years, I was a part of at least 250 weddings a year. Sometimes 2 to 3 a day. My record was 7 ceremonies in one day, the 11th of November 11. I retired from weddings at 44 years old. So 26 years in total. I estimate I have been slash worked at well over 2000 wedding ceremonies. Probably closer to 2500 to 2600. Interestingly, I've only been a participant in two weddings. Mine as the groom and my best friend is best man. According to my step counter. Walking. Not even kidding. I manage a warehouse and walk 10 to 15 miles a day at work. Apparently this is more than 99.3% of users. Turns out the one thing I'm exceptional at is the one thing almost everyone can do. Yay. This post, comment, was made for your account name. Sadly, there will be many more than 1% of people who have trouble walking. Walking. I have cerebral palsy, and it was not known whether I would talk, walk, or do anything. Now, I'm getting a degree, have a job, and I'm a full-fledged adult. Only 2% of pregnant women experience 2 miscarriages in a row. Only 1% of women experience 3 miscarriages in a row. I have had 5 miscarriages in a row and I fully hate any type of statistics now. Statistics used to make me feel safe. Now I just know how easy it is to be on the wrong side of them. How sad. I have had 3 miscarriages in a row. And I totally get not being relieved by any statistic. When you're always on the wrong end. I hate hearing that other people have experienced this same feeling. Sending love your way. Eyesight. I have 20 tenths vision. Turns out only about 1% of people have better than normal 20 over 20 vision. What is it like to have 20 tenths vision? 20 over 20 vision means that you see as well at a distance of 20 feet as a person with normal vision sees at a distance of 20 feet. 20 tenths vision means that you see as well at a distance of 20 feet as a person with normal vision sees at a distance of 10 feet. Ted Williams, ho F baseball player and WW2 pilot, told a story about his 20 tenths vision. He was landing with his team, and as a plane was circling the runway, he turned to a fellow player, and says I know that man in the yellow hat the other player could barely make it the person in question, and said there was no way Ted could see a face from this far away. They get off the plane, and Ted walks up to the man in the yellow hat and shakes his hand. How many fingers am I holding up? 11. I also have 20 tenths vision. But my eyes are very sensitive to light so half the time I still wear special glasses to reduce glare and artificial blue light at night. I wonder if that's a byproduct. I have exceptional eyesight, even in my 40s. Only one out of all my mates who still has no need for glasses. But the glare of sunlight is crippling. If going outside in bright sun, worst on white concrete, without sunglasses, I have to cover my eyes with both hands, looking through little slits between my fingers while squinting. It's not fun, and summer's almost here. My actual name, 
my last name is one of the rarest in the country and I'm the only person with my name out of the entire population. XAEAZI that you? No, it's Fred Smith of Beijing. My name and surname combination is completely unique in the world there is not currently another human on earth with the same name and surname as me. Having a famous parent, he's famous in another country, which allows me to live a normal life. That's really cool, but I'm glad you get to have a normal life. Second generation deaf and black dude, probably less than 0.5, supporting both black and deaf mommy and daddy is pretty hard. I suffer from a relatively harmless phenomenon called aphantasia, I'm incapable of conjuring images inside my head, I know what object or thing I'm supposed to think about but all I see is nothing, when I dream, I know what's happening and what I'm supposed to see, but it's just a whole lot of nothingness, I guess you could say I'm blind in my mind. Apparently around 1% of the population suffer from this weird condition. Must be nice having a screen in your head that shows anything you can imagine. Birth control. 99% effective right. I'm living proof of the 1% XD. It's cool though. My parents never acted like they didn't want me. I fall asleep in 5 to 10 minutes after my head hits the pillow. Mostly around the 5 minute mark. I'm your opposite. Sometimes 5 hours. Same here. Minimum 1 hour, usually around 1.5 hours, but has reached 5 hours before, I hate it. Long, long time ago, when the Wii was the newest console, there was a free downloadable game there, which was Crystal Defenders, a tower defense game inspired by Final Fantasy. Once you finished the campaign, you could compete in the high score for some of the last level. I placed as high as hash 17 worldwide, and no other Canadian was above me. Still proud of that one. Lol. This reminds of those phone app quiz games, and I was top 5 in NZ for NBA trivia, for about 3 days in 2012. Facts may be fictionalized. Height. I'm 204 centimeters. Are you Dutch? I'm English, which begs the question, why I didn't just say 6 feet 8 inches. As a Lithuanian I belong to a nationality that makes up 0.03% of the world population. Tenor voices. I'm a professional opera singer, and have also performed in a rock band, a state champion collegiate a cappella group, have been on international television as a soloist, was paid to sing High Mass at Street, Peter's Basilica in the Vatican in front of the Cardinals, and was just on stage with Sir Mixolet. That's pretty badass. Penis size. The bottom 1% that is, from the floor. Mine's pretty god awful. I have two uteruses. Jesus. I don't want the one I have. I hate to ask, but how are your periods? They lasted months, and were rug. So heavy, paralyzingly painful. Hence minimally invasive hysterectomy at the beginning of my 30s. I'm deeply grateful to an understanding of gym. I gotta be in the top 1% of hairiest BS in North America. Especially if we are looking at Caucasian women only. I must ask you a question. Shave your queries for later. I'm left handed have red hair, and blue eyes. I do not know if that makes me 1%, but it has to be pretty close. If you wear mismatching socks you'll be in the 0.5% for sure. I can fold a fitted sheet, burn the witch, cast the dark magic into the fire. I need evidence of this witchcraft. Number of skydives. I'm in the 1% of thickest Boston accents in America, thanks to growing up in Boston. What did they say? Can someone translate for me? It sounded like go tuck yourself, but I'm not sure what that actually means. I can throw a 16 pound shot put over 20 meters or 66 feet 8 inches. Not a ton of real world applications, except when asked what you are in the top 1% of. I'm 6 feet 6, while being 14. An agent for one of a few different professional sports leagues should be calling shortly. Degrees, I have a bay. MA, JD and two PhDs, if I'm not mistaken, less than 1% of the world has that many, and neither should I. Ghost Reckon Wildlands top 1% of players with the most kills according to the Ubisoft app. Chefs, I have earned a Michelin star. Radiohead fans in Para, how are y'all ranked? IDK Spotify just told me that I was in the top 0.05 people with more streams in the country. My cousin ended up there too. We are both depressed. I'm debt free.